Good readings, everyone. Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are and what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. So I started this series about a month ago, and it's um, the chakras. So I've already done the, um, the root chakra and the sacral chakra. So uh, your root chakra is basically um, the first chakra. And then your sacral chakra is the second chakra. <clears throat> so now I'm doing the solar plexus chakra, which is the third chakra. Okay. Um, and just to kind of explain, um, chakras are basically spinning wheels of energy along the spine. Um, and more specifically, the solar plexus chakra is located in front of the aorta. It's part of the nervous system. It's said to be, and chakras are said to be where the spirit and the body meet or align. So when they're out of alignment, we experience mental, physical, and emotional pain or distress. And when they are aligned, we have happy and harmonious lives, right? So the solar plexus, again, is the third um, chakra, and it's located above the belly button and below the chest near the ab abdomen. So kind of like in this area right um this is where your personal power self-esteem pleasure willpower personal responsibility boundary setting people pleasing um validation seeking from others sense of purpose the energy, this is the energy of the war. This is where the energy of the warrior is located. And it's the power and ability to transform or go through a metamorphosis. Um, balancing this chakra makes us more confident without arrogance, um, motivated, purposeful, reliable, and responsible. Okay? Um, when this solar plexus is out of balance, we have low self-esteem, we have control I issues, we manipulate people, we abuse our power, we bully people, we have a dominant personality, um, we have mean girl or guy syndrome, um, we're indecisive, we, we lack purpose, we're aggressive or overly dominating over other people. Um... In the body, an imbalance chakra shows up as fatigue, overeating, ex excessive weight around the stomach, problems with the kidneys, liver, adrenal glands, and digestive system disorders like irritable bowel syndrome, ulcers. Um, ulcers can occur. That's not... Well, ulcers. Hyperglycemia and diabetes. Okay? Um... This, how the solar plexus gets blocked or slowed down um, because over the years we develop trust issues, right? It's a lack of willpower, right? Again, it's low self-esteem. <laughs> um, it can be caused by eating disorder or poor digestion. The way to heal this chakra, um, first of all, is related to the color yellow. So therefore, eating um, fresh yellow fruits and vegetables is a good place to start. Um, also, spices like yellow curry and complex carbs like sprouted grains. Sprouted grains. Those are your ancient grains like amaranth, spelt, teff. Even quinoa is good. Um, most of the stores have these healthier options. Most grocery stores have these healthier options, unless it's like a small grocery store or a small chain. Um, but even some of those have these healthier options because more people are eating healthier these days. And, and going back to some of those more ancient grains um, that are in the Bible, actually. Right? Um, also... Um, the the solar plexus chakra is represented by the element of fire. So burning your favorite candles, having bonfires, get yourself a fire pit if you have a place where you can and set it up. Burn incense. Um, use an oil burner 
and you sense like musk sandalwood ginger and cinnamon you could also get those um, incense as well in incense form as well or even candle form um, to help open up your well some people say they don't close um, because they're spinning they just spin slower when they're imbalanced right so um, it's not necessarily blocked or it doesn't necessarily well it's blocked but it's not necessarily stopped it's just blocked to the point where it slows down and it's not spinning at the rate it should be spinning um, yeah every people say different things but you know the way that it ex is explained is slightly different depending on who's explaining it I'll just say that um, but another way to heal this chakra is reciting affirmations uh, meditation yoga Pilates Qigong Qigong <laughs> or Qigong it's Qigong Tai Chi sunbathing um, focusing on strengthening your core which the yoga Pilates Qigong and Tai Chi all help with those um, but you of course can work on strengthening your core in other ways um, work on your personal development right basically you're healing heal yourself um, chew your food properly before you swallow it slow down when you eat it's not a marathon and you're not in competition to finish your food first and the food is still gonna be on your plate even if you don't eat it in two minutes right spend time put the food in your mouth chew it put the fork or the spoon down in between chewing you don't have to keep going oh I'm done you somebody make you a plate they go in the kitchen and make another plate and by the time they come out your food is going how you couldn't have possibly chewed your food that well it doesn't work that way you have to chew your food just slow down it's okay slow down get to know your food have a party in your mouth <laughs> just just slow down a little bit um, and like I said heal so heal traumas of the past um, that's also a very important way to balance this chakra right so um, that's all I got Um, but I think that's a very important one. I know it's taken me a month to get to this one. Um, I will do my best not to make sh to let it take a month. <laughs> I've already started um, the others. The next one will be the heart. Then it's the throat. Then it's the third eye and the crown. So I have four more to go. So I hope this was helpful as always. And I love y'all, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, day, where, whatever time it is. It's nighttime here, but by the time you watch this video, it may be a different time of day. So, I hope your day is going well. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Love you. Later.